Hi guys, so I'm back. I didn't go anywhere. I just, the first week I, honestly I'll tell you, I forgot that I was supposed to make a video and that's why I didn't do it. And the second week I had some issues so I couldn't do it. But I'm back now people. And we're today we're going to talk about the World Cup obviously because it finished, well, it ended my grammar sucks as you notice it ended yesterday so we're just gonna have a little bit on that plus i have to do a punishment because clearly i was gone for two weeks for basically almost no reason so yeah world cup and pet peeves <laughs> so the world cup now i'm not going to be a bitter betty even though i wanted germany to win and germany was the best team of the whole tournament and they should have won but that's okay because they're still the best team in the whole tournament. Muller won the Young Player Award. He won the Golden Boot. And Bastian Schweinsteiger should have won one of the um, best players of the tournament award. Because he was damn fantastic. Okay, that's out of the way. Now, Spain and Netherlands was the final. Germany had already won the third place. So Spain and Netherlands was the final. Um, the final went on for 116 minutes and some seconds. My God. Until the 160th minute where everyone thought it was going to be a penalty. I, I'll tell you personally, I like penalties. Penalties are fun. That's just me. So I was kind of hoping for penalties, but it didn't work out that way. Spain scored. Iniesta, whoop de whoop whoop I don't really care. It was boring as hell. The third place game, in all honesty, between Germany and Uruguay was the best damn game ever. That was two teams trying their damn hardest to win. And it was a damn good game. Diego Forlan is like a beast. That dude is fantastic. Like he, and I will see him alone, drag that whole Uruguayan team on his damn back all the way up there. Go him. Notwithstanding Luis Suarez's handball, which I think he needs everlasting diarrhea for because that was evil and horrible. But we get over these things. I'm over it now. It's just, you know, I'm sad for Forlan. I kind of wish he'd won something. Hell, I think, if anything... The final game should have been between Uruguay and Germany because the way they played the third place game, that the first place game if they actually had played it would have been epic. It would have been a game you talk about forever. Spain Netherlands game was 116 minutes of God, please stop. That's what it was. It was just over and over again. But what can you do? You know, you you can't you can't reverse things. You can't pick things. So that's it was a game. Spain won. Whoop de whoop. Yeah. So there were moments in the World Cup that were interesting, fun, controversial, I'll say. Um, a couple of my the moments I particularly liked, for example, were, um, let's see, ooh, when the Netherlands beat Brazil. Because, in all honesty, I always say that Brazil is a great team. They always have a great team. But the thing is, can Brazil come back when they are behind? Like, if Brazil goes maybe one down and they have to come back, they could do it. But if they go to, like, 2-1 or whatever, can they come back and do it? And obviously in that game, they couldn't. I don't know what happened to Brazil, because Brazil is a great team. I'll admit it, but they went crazy. And it was just really weird to see. It's like, you're still, you know, you still basically have a lot of time. But they went madness. Um, Frank Lampard's goal, that was, but wasn't at the same time. Bad refereeing, what can you do, but goal line technology would be the best option, but FIFA, you know, FIFA doesn't want to do that, but what can you do? Uh, what else? Oh, Germany! I love that team. I, I love that team, honestly. That team was a team. They weren't individuals playing together, they were an actual team coming together and playing, and they were damn good at it. So, the Germans, in general, were just fantastic. Um, New Zealand! At the beginning, I, in all my heart, was going totally for New Zealand. I'm like, New Zealand, come on, you guys can, you know, get out of the group stage. They didn't, but they scored, they had, they got, I say, three points, which is the best they've ever had since they went, they were in the World Cup in 1982, I think it was, yeah. Uh, last thing. There wasn't any fights. There weren't any fights, which were kind of funny, because I honestly, in some games, I thought there were going to be fights. The sure, there was a little scuffle between, um... Argentina and Mexico at halftime at the halftime of their game, but other than that There wasn't like a big fight of any kind and surprisingly because some of these teams don't particularly like each other these countries So you were I was kind of expecting some big things going on, but surprisingly there wasn't yeah 
It's kind of funny if you think about it. Hmm. Basically, the World Cup's over now, and I'm kind of sad because we have to wait another four years. It was really fun. I actually went to a bar to watch some of the games, and the atmosphere there was crazy. So... I'm hoping, like, next World Cup I'll go to more bars. Um, my friends got into it too, which is fun, because then you could talk to your friends about it whenever we could hang around and commiserate and cry and be sad and happy at the same time, so that was pretty cool. Oh, and last thing about the World Cup, Paul the Octopus. I don't even know. Like, I've never, I watched, I watched some of the 2006 World Cup, but I was never really into it. But this year I was totally into everything, and the Paul the Octopus story was just hilarious, like, there's an octopus in Germany that predicts things, and it actually comes true. And it's like, people are like, why don't we go give it some lottery numbers to see if it can predict it? And, you know, some of you win some lottery up in here because people need money. But, yeah, it was a fun World Cup. And, yeah, I can't wait for 2014, which is going to be in Brazil. You know that's going to be epic because if Brazil doesn't even make it to the finals, there will be riots. We know that. Just, you can't wait for it. Yeah. Anyways... I'll see you guys. But let me swing around to my pet peeves. <laughs> okay, so I'll do this really, really quickly. Um, 10 pe pet peeves. 10. Um,